So at the first block, rapidly press F12 button until it goes to the screen and then select change boot mode settings. Okay, as you can see, you have to ensure you are on UEFI mode and secure boot is off. Then continue to restart by pressing Ctrl Alternate Delete and then again rapidly press F12. Right, then the same screen appear again. Click on BIOS Setup and then go to Boot Sequence, untick the Ubuntu. So the rest configuration should be the same as mine. SATA operation should be under EHCI mode. Then the security boot should be uh, disabled. We have to untick it. And then once all change are apply, click on apply button to save the setting. So during the boot up, ensure you have uh, plugged in your pen drive. Guys, note that this PC is with this G in GPT format. So pen drive that you plug in have to comes also in GPT format. Else, you cannot do the installation. So I suggest not to change the PC hard disk format to MBR. It cause you in trouble because the PC cannot boot up the hard disk in MBR format. So you have to remain the the PC hard disk in GPT and configure your pen drive with GPT format as well. So here as you can see it has pulled up from my pen drive. So here I just click I don't have a product key because I'll do the activation later and then select the Windows version the next and then read through the policy blah 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 and then accept and then click on the custom and then here on this page proceed to delete all the partitions okay, take note that all these partitions and that this is already in GPT format by default uh, Dell 5060 uh, comes with no windows it's already pre-installed with Ubuntu so uh, this is all the partition that they create for the Ubuntu so we have uh, to just delete it because you need uh, to use windows So once all deleted, you are good to create new partition. So in my scenarios, I usually create a two new partition. One is for my primary use, and then secondary for to, to store a backup file and so on. Okay, here then I choose the primary hard disk to install the windows. And I just click next. And then it will start the installation procedure. Just wait until the uh, it reboot itself. So just cut the video till uh, the reboot progress. Yeah. So here now, uh, the installation process has just finished. So the PC is now reboot. If you did what as I has instructed earlier, leave your hard disk in GPT format. You will then boot up into the Windows. No need to unplug your pen drive. As it will uh, primary detect your huh? internal hard disk
so on the screen uh, just select your region your country so for me just select Malaysia and then select the US keyboard layout which we normally use for Malaysia so I use to work my PC with organization I choose organization then here domain join instead because I need to join the PC to domain later okay assign your username here and then password then here on this page just click yes then got several things to read blah 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 and then yes so now comes to the final configuration you will auto set up your profile just wait see relax so I'll just cut the video to make it shorten so we are almost there voila your windows is now appeared so click on subscribe button to subscribe my channel and see my next review Ta -da. bye bye